Hey everyone, welcome back to another exciting episode of Who Wants to Be the Best Website Builder. Tonight's spotlight is on the Bluehost Website Builder. This unique blend of WordPress and Website Builder has definitely caught my attention. Let's not waste any time and dive straight into this Bluehost Website Builder review. First off, let's tackle the big questions. How easy is the Bluehost Website Builder to use and is it any good? Bluehost's control panel is clean and beginner friendly, making navigation a breeze. Plus it offers cPanel access for those who need it. But let's be real, you're here for the website builder, not the cPanel, right? Here's the thing, Bluehost doesn't actually have a separate builder. Instead, it offers a WordPress integrated tool. And honestly, I have mixed feelings about this approach. On the one hand, it works well within the WordPress ecosystem and can help you create more dynamic and visually appealing websites. On the other hand, people looking for a website builder are usually after something simpler than WordPress, or they just use WordPress from the start. To make things more complicated, there are already plenty of free WordPress plugins out there, like Elementor, that can act as website builders. So the value of Bluehost's offerings feels a little conflicted. All right, how does the builder itself work? First, I recommend going straight for the AI option to generate a design for you. From there, you can preview and customize your options before finalizing one. But how's the quality of these AI designs? They're okay, not bad, and they don't all look identical, but the AI does occasionally mess up. Sometimes it generates outdated looking elements straight out of the 2010s, or skips certain features entirely. To compare, Ionos and Hostinger offer more polished template generation tools, consistently creating modern, visually appealing designs. Here's an example. The site starts off decent, but by the end, you might find odd design choices, or worse, actual code errors. The server lining is that the AI doesn't cost anything extra, so you can retry until you get something you like. Still, I'd love to see this feature refined further. Also, can we talk about the upselling? Please don't upsell me and stuff in my WordPress admin dashboard. It's such an ugly design choice. Every time you log in, it's just glaring at you. Another issue is a lack of a direct way to jump into the builder. You have to navigate to a page or post and work on them individually. That said, the selection of elements and sections is actually pretty great. You'll find basic tools alongside more advanced options, like integration with Amazon or a SoundCloud player. But here's the thing, everything else feels like standard WordPress functionality. At this point, am I even reviewing Bluehost Builder or just WordPress with a few extra steps? Hopefully you can see why I'm a bit mixed on this setup. Overall, Bluehost is a good website builder, but not a great one. It feels a bit all over the place and sometimes doesn't work as intended. If you're looking for a truly easy web building experience, I'd recommend checking out my other best website builder videos. However, if you're set on having a WordPress website builder combo, then Bluehost could be worth considering. What if keeping costs low is your main goal? Bluehost is worth a look since like Hostinger, a single subscription allows for more than one hosted project, supporting up to 10 websites, making it a cheap website builder compared to Wix or Squarespace single site plans. However, it still falls short of Hostinger's offer while being priced similarly, but you can make it more budget friendly with our discount link below. You might be surprised by this deal. The renewal pricing increase is a bit steeper, currently sitting at $11.99 per month for the very first shared hosting plan if you opt for a 12-month term. Bluehost also includes a 30-day money-back guarantee, giving you a risk-free way to explore the platform. Just keep in mind that the guarantee doesn't cover refunds for add-on features. A couple of tips. I suggest unticking the professional email option. It's free to try, but if you forget to cancel, you might get billed for a tool you don't necessarily need. Also, there's something called the Content Creator Solution, which seems to be a bundle of plugins, courses, and who knows what else. Honestly, it's not the most essential thing. While it's only a few dollars a month, paying nearly the same for plugins as you do for hosting 10 sites just feels odd. In summary, Bluehost's website builder strikes a good balance between affordability and functionality. It sits comfortably in the middle, offering more features while keeping costs relatively low. However, the platform's odd upsells and steep renewal price increases are drawbacks worth noting. What about features and e-commerce? The answer is pretty straightforward. Both rely heavily on WordPress. With WordPress, you can do practically anything. And if it doesn't exist yet, there's probably someone on Fiverr who can code a custom plugin for you. However, without plugins, 
There's a clear line where the AI generated functionality stops, leaving you with standard WordPress. So technically, Bluehost Website Builder on its own offers very limited, if not zero e-commerce or advanced AI features. Instead, it hands you the keys to the largest plugin library in the world. Whether that's a good or bad thing depends entirely on your preferred approach. Moving on, let's check how alive this provider really is by testing its speeds, uptime, and stress tolerance with a bunch of virtual users. I won't bore you with the technical details of these tests, but you can check out the very first video in this series if you're curious. Since Bluehost works differently from most other builders we've reviewed, I also tested a simple WordPress install for comparison. For speed, the goal is to stay below the 2.5 second mark. An empty WordPress site without the builder loaded in 1.1 seconds, while a site I crafted using the builder took 1.4 seconds. Granted, your site's content will affect the results, but both fit comfortably within Google's recommendations. This puts Bluehost among the fastest web builders on the market. Bluehost offers a 99.9% .9 uptime guarantee. While no provider can promise 100% uptime due to unforeseen circumstances or technical failures, Bluehost servers have proven to be stable, even managing to hit that mystical 100% uptime over a few months. As for stress testing, there were a few minor bumps, but it successfully handled 50 virtual users without any real issues or noticeable slowdowns. The thing to remember about Bluehost Web Builder is that it runs on WordPress, meaning you have complete freedom to tap into hundreds of tutorials on speed optimization, use thousands of performance enhancing plugins, or even optimize the code yourself. It's all up to you. By comparison, with providers like Squarespace, you're stuck with the way the platform performs, with only minimal control over speed on your end. So honestly, Bluehost earns a big point for performance and its seamless integration with WordPress. When it comes to security, Bluehost Website Builder offers several robust features, but I have to be fair here. It's kind of unusual for a web builder. First, you're once again in the WordPress ecosystem, which means you have access to hundreds of security plugins you can install, like WordFence and Solid WP. All websites created with Bluehost include free SSL certificates, and I don't need to tell you that you need to have this to be seen online. Bluehost also provides daily automatic backups, an absolute lifesaver if you accidentally delete something important or your site gets hacked. Just keep in mind that backups are free for one year and require more expensive plans. They even throw in malware scanning and removal through their site lock tool, but to get the full benefits of it, you need to upgrade. The free version is just a simple malware scan running in the background. Moving on, Bluehost provides DDoS protection, actively monitoring for threats to keep your site running smoothly even during potential attacks. While it's not a guarantee against all downtime, it adds an extra layer of security. Bluehost also complies with data privacy regulations, ensuring that customer data is handled responsibly if you're planning to run a business site here. In summary, Bluehost Website Builder security is enough, but nothing truly to write home about. Backups and malware scans are limited and everything else is solid yet basic. The best thing security-wise is that you have access to all WordPress security plugins you can ever need. So, is Bluehost WordPress Website Builder good compared to other platforms? It's a solid tool, but I'm not gonna lie, it's a weird one. When taking a look back at builders we already reviewed, they all offer some unique aspects, but Bluehost feels restrictive and simply put, doing the same thing as tools like Elementor did long ago. However, I will recommend it for those who need a builder only sporadically and want to concentrate on WordPress itself. Then this works as a nice addition to your workflow. Thanks for watching this Bluehost website builder review till the end. If you have questions or just want to chat, feel free to leave a comment. We have only one video left in this best website builder 2025 series. So don't miss out on the finale. You can also find more content like this if you subscribe to the Cyber News YouTube channel. Okay, I won't hold you here any longer. See ya.